Hello everyone. Uh, we're going to do some more video poker tutorial today. I still have no casinos nearby me where I can go show you some live play. So let's just do this for uh, a few more weeks probably. Okay, today we're going to try a game. probably okay today we're going to try a game called magic deal poker this one is very fun but it is also very volatile so unless you're willing to risk some coin you know maybe only play it for a little bit um, okay so this again comes in triple play five play or ten play has all your standard games um, I like double double bonus as you guys probably know by now one thing to know on this game um, okay you, when you play it is going to randomly deal you one two or possibly three magic deal cards uh, and these magic deal cards can become anything which you will see here in a little bit now the one thing to know and I'll show you this in the help screen is that different games have a different percentage of how often these magic deal cards come up. Now with double double poker, uh, excuse me, poker, they come up 9.5% of the time. Um, so that's, you know, roughly about one in 10 hands. If you play something less volatile, like bonus triple play, it is gonna come up a little more often about 13 percent um, if you do jacks are better I think it's like 13.5 percent so you're gonna get the magic deal cards a little more often of course you can't make as as many great or huge hands in jacks are better or in bo bonus poker as you can in double double so you know again it, it always depends on what game you like and what you like to play so I'm gonna go to Let's just stick to triple play for sake of simplicity. Double, double bonus. And you're gonna wanna play max bet. And max bet here is, again, double the amount. Um, rather than it just costing one extra credit to play this, it's going to be uh, double the amount. So a game, if you're playing a single line, five credits, you're gonna be playing 10 credits per line. So for a three line game, of course, 30 credits. So um, one of the reasons why this is so volatile because if you're not hitting those magic cards if they're not coming up just because it says one in ten hands doesn't mean it's always going to be one in ten hands sometimes it you can go 15 hands sometimes you can go 20 hands and then sometimes you'll get you know one or two in, in a row so that is just a very very broad average okay so um, the strategy for this you're going to play basically the same strategy that you play uh, for whatever game you're playing. Double, double bonus right now, so we're gonna be playing double, double bonus strategy. And, oh, that's actually a decent hand, just on its own, without magic cards. All right, um, I'm going to go through and play a while and when I get some magic cards I'll come back and show you how they work all right hang on all right so here's a really nice example we have one magic card have some threes and since we're playing double double we know those threes could turn into something decent oops you don't have to um don't have to click the magic hand it's always saved for you no matter what you do so I'm going to keep the two threes and let's see if we can pull any four of a kinds and we didn't but it was a good try we'll try some more all right so here's one that's probably pretty obvious um, we have the magic card uh, we keep all of these it's going to turn into a straight 
So we have an automatic straight and we're going to keep that. And there we go. All right, another example of just a single magic card. Uh, we don't have really anything great, but we do have an ace, so we're going to keep the ace and the magic card and hope that it gives us a little something to go with that. Uh, nope, but at least we got a pair out of each of them. All right, here's something a little better. We got two magic cards dealt, finally. And we have an ace here. We're going to keep the ace, two magic cards. Uh, if it pulls us another ace, this is going to give us the turn into aces. Uh, potentially could pull maybe some royal flushes out of it if we get lucky and, and pull up the other two cards. So let's see what we can do. Come on, luck. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there we go. We just missed that kicker, darn it. All right. So there it dealt us the second ace. It turned those last two magic cards into aces. Uh, here, not really sure why it pulled up the fives. Probably because it doesn't really matter whether you have three aces, three kings, or three fives. You're going to get paid the same. But um, these are the kind of hands you're looking for. And, and just imagine what you could do if you got three magic cards and some good cards to go with it. So... Uh, I'll try and play a little bit longer, see if I can get it to deal me three magic cards, and then show you how that works. All right, I'll be back. Okay, another chance to hopefully get a nice four of a kind. Got a couple of fours. Um, still have not gotten anything better than just one magic card at a time. Let's see what this can give us. And still just three of a kinds. Let's hope we can do a little better. All right, we did not get three magic cards, but we got a pretty good hand here. We got two magic cards plus a pair, so we know that we're going to automatically get uh, four of kinds. Now the eight doesn't matter either way. We may as well just hold it. Draw to see our lovely, lovely hands. Now, obviously, had those been aces, twos, threes, or fours, it would have been a little better, but hey, not too shabby. All right, guys, this is going to be it. I've been trying and trying to uh, get it to deal me three magic cards, so I could show you that, but it is not cooperating, which just goes to show you how volatile this game really is, and that those three magic cards showing up uh, would be a pretty big deal. So anyway, this is one last final hand that uh, looks pretty good. But that should show you enough of how to play Magic Deal, kind of give you an idea of whether it's something you'd want to try or not. And again, it's a lot of fun, but it is very volatile. So if you're not hitting, uh, don't sit there forever losing your money. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Um, if you have played this before in the casino, leave me a comment. And let me know how you did. I'd love to, to hear about it. I'll be back again with another tutorial next week. And hopefully soon, soon, I can back in the casino. All right. You take care, you guys. And please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not. Bye.